Hello guys, hope you're well. My name is Gabor and today we're going to do another 3D app icon design and this time we're going to do this Twitch icon here, Twitch logo. Uh, we're going to turn it into 3D but before we start I'd like to say thank you for everybody who subscribed to the channel. Uh, it really helps me out a lot, it helps the channel out to grow and uh, I really appreciate it. So let's get started with this 3D uh, app icon. So as you can see I got my reference here and then I got two shapes. This is important to be shape. If it's not shape it's going to be all quite um, um, it's, go it's not going to be sharp. It's not going to be nice and smooth. It's just going to be really really rough around the edges. So you want to go with shapes. I've got the frame, I've got the base. Let's start with the base. So we go to 3D 3D extrusion, create, and here I'm just gonna go with 20. That seems to be fine for that. And that's all we have to do on this layer. We turn on the frame layer, 3D extrusion, create, and we'll just go with um, 10 on this frame. Once it's done, we can merge them together, just select them both, go to 3D, merge 3D layers. And then you'll have to go to this panel, select the both object, the frame and the base. And once that's selected, just go here to the coordinates and then move them to the ground. A little bit of alignment here and I'm just gonna hide this for a sec. Let's move this in the middle so we can see what's happening. Yeah, that's fine. Let's open it back up and move the frame into position. So all you have to do is just drag it out until you can see it. Um, I think this is fine. So that's all about the 3D object. We can go into 3D and export the layer and here we are, we have to use Wavefront OBG, press OK, name your file. I already created one, but I'm just going to overwrite it. Yeah, let's just replace it, it doesn't really matter. So once that's done, let's go to Dimension and create a new project file. Okay, let's select the canvas, change the resolution. There we go, and the camera, I'd like to change it into something, let's say 30, that's fine. Also environment, we're going to change the color of the, the whole environment, and I already took a note of this purple color, the Twitch purple, and that's 9147FF, there we go. Okay, once that's done, what I'd like to do, okay, um, I'm gonna use one of these models, a preset model, because I think it's gonna go really well with the icon we are, we are about to create. I use this laptop, press this button here to frame selection, there we go. I'll just turn on the camera, perfect. And then, just try to find an angle, something like this is fine, I think it's nice. Let's just save this here. Okay, well, I'm not gonna name it, I'll just leave it like this. Next thing we do is import the 3D model we created. Okay, do, 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 do. it's here. Okay, once that's done, it's a little bit huge. So we can just hold down shift and scale it down a little bit, something like this. Okay, that's good. We can scale it up a little bit though, I like this, something like this is nice. Yeah, I like it, I like it. This is cool. Okay, so what I was thinking to do is to take the laptop and just use one single material on it, like this clean gold material. So I'm just gonna drag this to the laptop and it's gonna give this really nice gold effect. Okay, let me just render it. Yeah, this looks awesome. The purple and the gold 
works so well together. So that's great. Um, I'm thinking about to change the roughness because this reflection seems a bit too too strong for me, but but I like it in the same time. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. You can change it if you want. If you want it to be a little bit less reflective, then just turn the roughness up. I show you basically all you have to do: open the laptop, any of the object of the laptop, basically any part of the laptop. You can just go in here and change the roughness to uh, let's say 0 0.30 and then you can see now you'll get this less reflective but I, I, I really liked it okay I'm just gonna go and just go to the middle somewhere here okay 0 0.15 let's go with that awesome cool now we go back to the to the logo itself close this up here there we go twitch icon and um, okay let's try this plastic material on wait a second maybe not let me open it because I don't want the whole uh, I don't want the whole element to be uh, plastic I just want basically the extrusion to be that let's just drag it to the extrusion there we go and change the color to black there we go okay and then the front oh, go back to the front I want the same plastic but white like this there we go okay okay once that's done let's go back to the frame here and the frame 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 I can just apply this whole plastic uh, material change it to black and there we go and I did and select it okay okay this is the one I want okay change it to black there we go Let's just render it quickly, see how it looks. Yeah, that's that's good. That's about right. Okay. And now we go back and change some stuff on the environment. Let's go to lights and go with... <laughs> okay, let's try this environment out. There we go. is nice I like both I like both I'll, I'll go with this for now yeah I'll go with this okay so once that's done um, I was thinking to add some more decoration element here just under the laptop so I got uh, my view saved Perfect, so I can move it around and just kind of add another 3D. Let's add this plane. There we go. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to change this. Uh, let's say like 20. Perfect, and just move it somewhere here. Yeah go back to the view we had before and then all I do I'm just going to select this eyedrop tool and uh, just kind of eyedrop this gold material there we go so just going to check my camera or something oh this is nice okay yeah this is really Yeah, 
I'm not sure about the plastic material on here. Maybe I'm going to change it. Okay, let's go back quickly. So all we have to do, back to the base color, and I'm just going to go with, actually, it's okay, just have to change the roughness. Uh, I'm changing the roughness to 60%. There we go. And then the frame as well. I'll do the same, change the roughness to 60% to match it, and then this is good. This is good for me, I like it. There we go. Perfect. Now we can go to render and render our uh, project file. Um, I already have something rendered out. I'm just going to name it as two. There we go. So this take about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depending on the power of your computer, but roughly about that time. So I'm going to skip ahead and then I'll uh, we'll go back to Photoshop after this render process. Okay. Okay, now we're back to Photoshop just to finalize the, the design. So we're going to take this rendered image and um, actually what we're going to do is select all the whole screen and then just merge it to one copy and create a smart object out of it. So once that's done, uh, we, can, hmm, we can add some effects to it. What I wanted to use is some sort of light leak. I found this uh, free light leak uh, picture and this works really well. So what we do is we just have to basically change the blend mode to screen and maybe change the fill to something like, I don't know, like 30%. Let's resize it. Okay, so more like this is fine. Let's duplicate it and put it to the other corner too. Okay, like this. And here we can be like 50%. There we go. Nice. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I like it. Okay, and once that's done, merge it again. Merge layers. There we go. No, actually, we're just going to convert a small object. Yeah, there we go. Okay, doesn't really work that way. Let's go back and just kind of like create another copy of the merged screen and make it a smart object and go into Camera Raw Filter. And in here, I'm just going to go and add a little bit of grain. Let's see, like uh, six. Yeah, that's nice. And a little bit of vignette. There we go. 40, 40. Okay, here we'll just add a little bit more texture, clarity, increase the haze and vibrance. Make it nice. That's it. So that's what I wanted to do with this project. You can see before and after. And it's really nice. Okay, hope you like this video. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment. What would you like to see next? and subscribe to the channel if you like what we do. Thank you, bye.